very early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb carrying the burial lotions they had prepared. They found the stone door rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And as they stood there perplexed about this, suddenly two men in gleaming clothes approached them. The women were terrified and bowed down with their faces to the ground. The men said to them, Why do you search for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has been raised. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee, the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful people and be crucified, and on the third day be raised up. The women remembered Jesus' words, and returning from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven apostles and all the other people there. The women were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and some others with them. Yet the apostles did not believe them, because these reports seemed like nonsense to them. All the same, Peter got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the burial clothes lying by themselves. He returned home, wondering at what had happened. Now that same day, two of them were traveling to a town about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were talking with each other about all that had happened. And while they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself approached them and began to walk alongside them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, What are these things you are discussing with each other as you walk along? They stood there, looking sad, and one of them, named Cleopas, asked, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know about the events that have taken place there in these days? What events? He asked. They replied, The events surrounding Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our leaders handed him over to death and crucified him. We were hoping that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. But besides all of this, it is now the third day since all these things happened. And then, to add to it, some women from our group astonished us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they didn't find the body, they came saying that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. And some of those with us went back to the tomb and found it exactly as the women described, but they did not see him. And Jesus said to them, How foolish you are, and slow of heart to believe all the things the prophets foretold. Didn't the Christ have to suffer these things, and so enter his glory? And beginning with the writings of Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them the things written about himself in all the scriptures. They approached the town where they were going, and Jesus gave the impression he was going further on, but they urged him, Stay with us, because it is evening. The day is already over. So he went to stay with them. When he was reclining at the table with them, he took the loaf of bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he disappeared from their sight. They said to one another, Were not our hearts on fire as he spoke to us on the road? and explained the scriptures to us? They got up straight away and returned to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven apostles and those with them gathered together, who said, The Lord really has been raised to life, and he has appeared to Simon. Then the two related the things that had happened on the road, and how they had recognized him when he broke the loaf of bread. While they were talking about these things, Jesus stood right in the middle of them and said, Peace to you. But they were startled and terrified, because they thought they were seeing a ghost. And Jesus said to them, Why are you disturbed? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet, for it is really me. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. He said this and showed them his hands and feet. But when they still did not believe because of joy and amazement, he said to them, Do you have anything here I can eat? So they handed him a piece of cooked fish. He took it and ate it right in front of them. And he said to them, I told you about these things while I was still with you. Everything that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms had to be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said, This is what is written, that Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be announced in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and so I will send to you the promise of my Father. You yourselves stay here in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out to Bethany. He raised his hands and blessed them, and as he was blessing them, 
he departed from them and was taken up into heaven. They worshipped him and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, where they were always in the temple court, praising God.